YouTube, what is up? It is your boy Duke back here from sportsgamers.com. And in today's Madden 24 video, I'm going to break down the best defense in the game that you aren't running. We're going to be looking at the nickel over, and I'm actually going to break it down in a real online game against the number three ranked Madden 24 player in the world. So, you guys saw right there, first play defensively, I got a pick six. So, basically, what happened is I was in the red zone about to score, fumbled, you know, he was able to get the ball back. And first defensive play, you know, screamed out the A-gap, got a pick six. Now he's got ball back. So basically, guys, I'm running the nickel over out of the KC or the Jets defensive playbook. And I'm running a lot of cover three cloud and cover four quarters flipped. Now, the basis of this defense, you're going to see a lot of different adjustments that I do throughout this game. Is basically, I'm sending that left of screen inside linebacker up the A-gap. Um, with shifting my defensive line to the left, right? This gives me a really good A-gap blitz. I'm going to control the linebacker on the right of the screen over the middle. And I really like this defense because it blows up the runs pretty well. It's good against RPOs because it's a four-man line. And, I mean, it screams. Now, his first drive of the game, I ran dollar on him. And, he, you know, he kind of scored very, very, I would say fairly easily. So, you know, I decided to change it up and see what we could do here. And I've noticed this guy, he loves to play Flood. He loves to play Flood. So something I've started to do is play a hard flat um, on the bunch side and then man up the tight end. Now, he's trying to flip his play 500 different times to confuse me, hoping that it will mess up my adjustments. But, you know, that doesn't work against me. This guy, I'm not going to lie. He's the number three ranked player, but, you know, he kind of plays like a bum in my opinion. Um, you lock down the bunch strong. He really only runs Flood and RPOs. It seems like he can't do anything. Now, we're going to see so far, like I said, I'm getting A-gap at him. You guys see, I am screaming every play. This dude is literally caged. So the other thing I'm noticing is he likes to send the one receiver over the middle, whether it's on an in, drag, slant. So I'm kind of just manning him up to and watching the middle, and he's going to go for this on 4th and 31. <laughs> this guy's crazy, man. I don't know why you would go for this. Crazy, crazy to me. But hey guys, a lot of y'all have asked me for gameplay, so I'm trying to, you know, fulfill the request, do some more gameplay. So make sure y'all show the love to me, man. Smash that like button, comment on the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll continue to do more gameplays as well. Uh, you know, just show the love, man. I really do appreciate it. And by the way, guys, if you want my full defensive scheme, I have my full nickel over, full three for odd, full dollar, dime, every defense I run. It's available on sportsgamers.com, my VIP membership. Click the link in the description and code Duke will get you 10% off your order. Oh, and we just sold, man. I got the, I got the stop, man. I picked him off. And next play, I thought I could I thought I could get that crossing route underneath that safety. I thought I could click on an aggressive catch it. I guess I, I mean I guess I was wrong, man, but that was that was that was a crucial mistake by me because I was going to up into halftime winning and I'm getting ball at half. But I just got a little bit too risky right there. I tried. I mean, that like I said, that I, I still looking at that throw. Feel like I could have got that in, but I just I didn't get a good animation. And you know he picked six me. So now we got to score. And you guys can see this guy's defense is kind of whack. Um, <laughs> he's just rushing two or three every play from cover three. But he actually plays on the flat zone on the bunch side, I guess, to try to stop RPOs and corner routes. Um, Kind of a dumb strategy, honestly. Like I said, like I, I don't have secure protectors right now. I only have one, but I promise you, I will be getting more of them. Um, because this guy's defensive strategy and the strategy a lot of people use will, will never work if you have secure protectors. Basically, he's just rushing two or three, sometimes four, but a lot of times two or three with like basically, you guys can see some X factor D linemen. Now, if you don't have secure protectors, which this game I don't. You know, it's, it's kind of good. But if you do, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. Anyways, I only have one timeout. So I'm trying to, you know, go quick here. And, you know, I have to take advantage of the fact that he's playing on that flat zone. So I'm trying to, you know, give him too many routes to, you know, basically cover what his user on that flat. So, like, there I sent the running back out of the backfield on the wheel. I had a receiver wheel. I just looked to see which wheel he didn't guard. And I hit the other one. But you guys see, this dude is literally rushing two people. This is wild, man. I mean, really, I should just run the ball if I think he's doing that. Because, like, if you're rushing two, you're going to get killed by the run. Okay. Now he's going to the 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> Remember, like I said, this guy's the number three ranked Madden 24 player in the world. 
Whew, we got in, man. That was big for me. You know, hopefully we can go on to half tied. I mean, he, you know, he does have three timeouts, though. And, you know, with the field goal kickers on this year's game, they can hit from just the outside the 50. So the thing is, like, he got a decent return. I got to be aggressive right here so I just don't give him all day to make a read. Oh, give me the... That's got to be a sack, pick six, something, man. Who was he throwing? There was no... That's a crazy play. So I want just DB fire two right there. I didn't want to give him time. He has six seconds, right? This is just should be his last play. Um, I'm gonna call a timeout. I want to go nickel over right now because I just want to blitz him. I'm um, a little bit, uh, you know, this he hasn't been able to beat this at all. So I'm just needing to shave my coverage underneath so he can't throw a bubble screen or quick flat. And then I just need to watch the corner out myself. Oh, I didn't get my shade down. No. Oh my. So. He snapped the ball somehow before I could shade my coverage underneath and threw a wheel, got out of bounds. Now, if I shade underneath and have the hard flat, that's not open. But because he snapped the ball right as I was doing it before I could get that last adjustment in, I gave up a free three points. Honestly, sick to my stomach right now. In my mind, he should have zero points, but I threw a stupid pick six, gave him a free field goal. You know, he just had a good opening drive on dollars. So I guess I'll give him seven but the fact he has 17 to me is crazy. As you guys see, another two-man rush. Guy's playing crazy right now. I don't understand, like, even though I don't have secure protectors, how this two-man rush is even getting any, like, any pressure at all. This is actually kind of ridiculous. Look at it again. Again, he two-man rush. He just throws my tackle to the ground. Like, he's got to be past committee, man. Like I said, I promise you... I'm spending the two plus million coins on Kelsey. I am putting a light up token on Whitworth. I, I, I'm done with these at D line X factors. I've kind of been lazy just because most of the time they don't bother me. But this game right here, the fact I'm seeing a two man rush beat my old line, yeah, we're getting all the secure protectors. I don't care, man. This is, I'm never dealing with this again. Fourth and 16 right here. I mean, I have a money dot because I know he's on that flat zone. And I know he's going to guard the seam. So I'm just going to throw it out. Yeah. Easy dot. E just super easy. Again, his defense is like kind of goofy. I'm not going to lie. So honestly, what I need to do is I, I need to mix in the run a little bit so he can't just keep mixing in this two-man rush. And then what I need to do is I need to basically see the flat zone he's playing on and give him like two, rat, to me, two routes to guard himself. And just pick whichever one he doesn't guard. You know, if he's playing on a flat, <laughs> I can exploit that. Kind of exploited it at the end of the first half with the wheel route to the receiver and the wheel route to the running back. And here's kind of the same thing, just a flat corner. And just take whichever one he doesn't guard, right? I notice he's always rushing the, you know, the Chiefs dude, Furious George on the left of the screen. So if I isolate that left of the screen area... If he's on a flat zone, I should be able to, you know, pretty easily beat it. I think, you know, he's on the, yeah, he's on the safety now. Look, look at this. Oh, all right, we'll just play maker the, the flat. <laughs> he got a diving animation right there. Oh, man. He almost tackled me with a dive. Thought I might have had a big play right there. But this is a big drive. I mean, we're getting deep into the third quarter. I need to get seven right here. Oh, I have the corner out for a touchdown. Come on. Oh, like, got to get that ball off. That's an easy, easy, easy touchdown. Man, Furious George is killing me this game. That was an easy touchdown. Which kind of sucks because the way he's playing defense, like, he make, like he'll make you work. Because he, he doesn't blitz. Half the time, like I said, it's a two-man rush. Like, you got to really be careful. You know, it's, it's not a lot of big plays given up because he, you know, he takes away the deeper corner routes himself. Right there was really one of my only opportunities to get one, and that was a touchdown. Like, oh, we needed that. Third and one, you know, I think we're just going to go with the bubble screen here, right? Yeah, he had a deep zone out there. That's an easy conversion. I didn't care about a big play. I just wanted the conversion. All right, what do I want to do here? Just run the ball again. I mean, he plays that bubble screen pretty well as his user. I just want to try it once. Man, we're getting down, though. We're getting down here. Like, I feel really good about my defense. So, I just need to get a touchdown here. And I don't think he can score on me. Like, I really don't. So, this is a nice play right here. This little speed dig route. I might have I had R1, but it's a tight window. Can we, get, can we juke him? Woo! 
Hey, I'm not going to lie. That was good stick because I was making him cover um, one of my receivers and guard the scramble. Somehow he did both with his user. I mean, only, got a tip your cap right there. I'm not going to lie. That was a good stick. All right, what do we want to do right here? I feel like let me isolate his user again. Yeah, make him guard the flat in the corner. Again, he can't guard both. I know he's going to play more attention to the corner anyways, and that flat route is a really good flat. Hmm. He's in the 4-4. Four, four. So, honestly, I'm going to motion out this wheel route, and I feel like he's going to put his outside corner in a flat. Yeah, he did. We have him. This should be an easy touchdown. Let's highball it. What the fuck was that? That was the worst throw I've ever seen. He put his outside corner in a flat, just as I called out. And I motioned out the wheel route, so I just waited for him, the receiver, to get behind the flat. Threw a high ball, and he just underthrew it by like a good five yards. That was an easy touchdown. They just, they just robbed me. I fumbled in the end zone, and then I just got cheated on an easy touchdown pass. That's 14 points they've taken off the board. Like, this game should not even be close, man. I should be flooding this bum. Oh, but we're, right, we're going to have to have our defense step up, man. Like I said, he's not been able to move the ball at all on this defense. The only good play he had was that right before half where I just didn't shade my coverage underneath and gave him a free, easy, flat wheel pass. But I promise you that's not going to happen again. Did it? Did it just happen again? I swear I shaded my coverage underneath, but somehow he... Maybe I didn't get it off. All right, we got to lock in, man. So again, he's running either bubble screens, quick wheels, or flood. That's literally it. Oh, this has got to be it. This has got to be a run. All right, let's blitz him. He's definitely running the ball here. He's just trying to kill clock. This should be an RPO if I had to guess. Let's see. Yep. Yep. Nothing. I don't. I don't give a fuck that you got bow lit up. Angry runs. None of that shit. Come on. You're not good. This capers gaming guy. You're not good. It's a miracle this game is even close. 100 times better than you. Okay. It seems my hard flat, because I, I think I got my hard flat right there, still didn't cover that. All right, what we're going to have to do here, because he's literally just throwing that or the RPO every time, is the outside corner is either manned up or he's in a hard flat. I'm no longer relying upon the slot corner. The outside corner is going to have to guard that. Okay, that's just the way That's just the way it has to be, man. Or, you know, I could just use it myself, whatever. All right, got three timeouts to two minute morning. We're fine. We're fine. All right, he's he's gonna flip. He's gonna throw RPO or wheel. Let's so let's put a hard flat out there, man. Tighten up. Perfect. Perfect defense. Nothing. Still, still somehow got four yards on a hard. Man, that's that's disappointing that my hard flat gave up four yards. But Woolen, he got universal coverage. So if he tries to do it over there, he's he's dead. All right, again, I know he's running the same. He's running the same thing. He's a bum. Yes, yes. Just run right into me. Fourth down. Let's go. Let's get off the field, man. Let's win this game. You, I already know he's throwing a wheel route or an RPO. That's it. That's it. So, like, let's go play a hard flat, a hook zone, and two hook zones. Watch the middle. Watch the middle. Give me that. Come on, man. Just threw it right at me. This guy is ass. Ass. Call out his plays, man. That's how we do, man. Clutch defense. Like I told y'all, this defense is crazy. Nobody has played against this defense too much. Nobody knows what to do against it. Alright. <sighs> I'm just looking at his abilities inside stuff. Like, I haven't even looked all game. Because, like, I don't respect this dude. I'm not going to lie. I think he's horrible. <laughs> I think he's horrible. But we're going to look here because this is the money drive. Basically already in field goal range. I mean, I need, like, 10 yards. So, guaranteed myself a field goal pretty much already. Unless something tragic happens. Just need to, you know, but I want the touchdown. I don't want to go into overtime against this idiot. I need to just win the game. <laughs> like, this guy is not good. All right, so, same thing I've been killing him with. We're going to keep doing We're going to either hit the, fl we're going to basically uh, give him two routes to guard with his user and just play off his user. It's that simple. He's wanting to play his flat zone assignment. I'm going to make sure that I basically exploit his user, right? What I mean by that is, again, I'm going to give him either two wheels or a flat in the corner. Something like that, two routes he has to guard. And just hit the other one like, or, you know, something easy like that. Make him guard the seam, throw a quick out. These are dots I normally don't have to use, but this guy just plays so weird that I can't run a lot of what I normally run. 
this is why identifier is huge. I can see who he's creeping on. Because most people don't control slot cornerback, but because I can see what he's doing with identifier, now it's, it's easier for me to, uh, you know, to see what I need to do. All right, so we're in the same place we've been all game, the red zone. And, like, honestly, this defense he runs gets stingy down here. But I'm going to hit him with something I haven't done all game long. It's a C route. Let's go. Oh, I think we're going to have it. Oh, thank God we got a good throw. But we're on the two with one timeout. So we're on the two, man. I got one timeout. I got to just be able to pound this in, man. He's in the 4-4, four four, though. He's not playing. Block him! Like, horrible blocking. We didn't get anything. Literally didn't even get a yard. That's crazy. We couldn't block anybody. All right, come on. We got to hurry up, man. Get this playoff. I'm saving my timeout. Just going to save it if, because I want, I, I don't know if I'm going to get in here. So I want to save it in case I need to run another play. Just quick that, snap this, let's go. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect. Perfect. Are you, how do we not fall in the end zone? Ran my little glitch screen. His defense did not react to it. And Bo literally got tackled at the inch yard line. And he fell backwards or sideways instead of forward. Something, again, that never happens. I have Troz on. Like, are you serious right now? But, like, I'm going for the win here. I, I just don't give a fuck. I know I have a play for this. Especially against this 4-4 defense he's using. This is, like, if I don't see him... Oh, yeah, this is a guaranteed touchdown. He's not using the bubble screen. I'm going to motion out the receiver. This has got to be a guaranteed touchdown. There's no way this could get stopped. Easy! Let's go! You fucking bum! Get out of here! Get out of my game, boy! GG's.